Welcome to GeoViz Plus. This channel creates valuable GIS and remote sensing videos and shares software tips and tricks in this area. If you haven't subscribed already, please do it now and let's go to our today's practical tutorial. Our today's video shows you how you can access Sentinel-2 image and utilize within the GIS environment. Sentinel-2 a satellite sensor was successfully launched on June 23, 2015. It is funded by ESA member states and the European Union. It is the first optical Earth observation satellite in the European Copernicus program and was developed and built under the industrial leadership of Airbus Defence and Space for the European Space Agency. The mission is dedicated to the full and systematic coverage of land surface including major islands globally with the objective to provide cloud-free products typically every 15 to 30 days over Europe and Africa. Planet Scopes Fusion using Sentinel-2A and Sentinel-2B satellite image data at 10 meters spatial resolution is resampled to 3 meter resolution. The Sentinel-2 satellite image data can support important farming and agriculture data to manage crop yields, production, health, and weather patterns. The high-resolution spectral image data can provide critical information for monitoring crop health and growth that can improve farming and agriculture production. Sentinel-2 satellites and other Earth observation satellite data can be combined using spatial, temporal and spectral advantages of multiple Earth observation satellite sensors. Sentinel-2 satellite image data will support generic land cover, land use, and change detection maps. Maps of geophysical variables for leaf area index leaf chlorophyll content, and leaf water content. The four bands at 10 meter resolution ensure continuity with missions such as SPOT5 or Landsat 8 to address user requirements, in particular, for basic land cover classification. The six bands at 20 meter resolution satisfy requirements for enhanced land cover classification and for the retrieval of geophysical parameters. Bands at 60 meters are dedicated mainly to atmospheric corrections and cirrus cloud screening. To get Sentinel-2 imagery, search for Open Access Hub of Sentinel. Open the select the area where you want to download your image. Then select the date. Sentinel product, in this case Sentinel Tour, you may also assign a specific range of cloud cover, then search for images. Check the details, for instance the cloud cover, the footprint of the image if it fully covered our area of interest. Add to your cart if you want to compare with better quality images.
I choose form my cart list, now download the image. It's downloaded a zipped file. Extract the zipped file and identify the folder where the images are found. As the conversions has finished, we can remove the original JP2 images and utilize the Imagine files for further band composite. It won't do the band combination unless you specify the file format as a file extension after the name. So, I will give img after the dot. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Now the bands automatically create a false infrared color composite. The false color infrared application areas are related with identifying vegetated areas, bare soils, active fires and smoke. To create a natural color composite, let me convert band 2 jp2 file to img file format. Follow the same procedure to create a color composite.
As you can see, the real world colors are now visible. Let's try creating a simple vegetation index. As you know NDVI is a very common vegetation index, let's try to create using raster calculator. NDVI is calculated by using the formula Nair infrared minus red over Nair infrared plus red band. For Sentinel-2 it is band 8 minus band 4 divided by band 8 plus band 4. While the raster calculator is working its job, let's see the color codes of false color composite. The NDVI calculation is now ready, let's use a standard visualization method to identify areas with high and low NDVI values. Reddish colored false infrared image represented highly vegetated area, which has also high NDVI values. Gray colored areas in false infrared and natural color are very similar, while having a low NDV value below zero. If you use various color combinations, you can create also a color composite of several bands and only assign the bands of your interest to the RGB. If you want to know how to do that, check the video link in the description below. Subscribe to the channel for future uploads, and goodbye for today.